I am one of your Republican candidates for sheriff, and uh, normally I never make any notes, and I always speak from the side. Oh, anyway. so, now, things tonight that were said that, uh, that I just made a couple notes back there and wanted to put on. The liberal argument. Who here is familiar with a book called The Naked Communist? It was written by a former FBI agent in 1958. The liberal argument is obviously one in which if you tie back to the stated goal for the Communist Socialist Party seeking to destroy America from within was to develop the illusion that total disarmament of the U.S. would be a demonstration of moral strength. That's exactly what the good doctor just told you that the Democratic Party line is because they are underlying the Socialist Communist Party of these United States. Um, the Department of Education. Item number 17 is a stated socialist goal from the naked communists, authored in 1958, was to get controls of the schools to use them as transmission belts for socialism and the current communist propaganda. To soften the curriculum, we just heard that students can't add. Well, I'm gonna to submit to you that I have evidence that your judges can't add $200 plus $750 because according to a judge and an Okaloosa here in, uh, attorney here in Okaloosa County, that equals $720. <laughs> On the record and recorded and transcribed. Social security. Let's speak about that for just a second and, and why I'm running for sheriff. The current sheriff claimed that he learned about an illegal bonus kickback scheme and that bonus scandal that took about $1.5 million of your, your money and that he only learned about that in late 2008, I'm sorry, in, yes, late 2008, and launched an unauthorized investigation, and that's according to statements given to our newspaper. What you don't know is that your current sheriff began receiving those same bonuses in 2007 and took $13,500 of those same bonuses, and then you paid, you paid, every one of you paid his Social Security that he's going to benefit from because those $13,500 got grossed up to $20,964 so that you not only paid his Social Security, you paid his Medicaid, and you also paid his taxes. I'm running for sheriff. We spoke a little bit about personal responsibility and helicopter parents. I'm gonna tell you one thing. We grew up hard in my family. There was no helicopter parents. In second grade, I got in a fight because the boy punched me and I hit him back. The principals took me to the office and called my mother and asked for permission to uh, corporal punish me. Forgive me, ladies, for the crudeness of this, but my parents, my mother, told the principal to wear his ass out. And that's what they proceeded to do. If you elect me as your sheriff, you're going to have somebody that fears no one. Go and read the Proverbs, chapter 29, verses 24 through 27. We need not fear man. And if we are complicit in the thievery of what goes on in our government, we are just as guilty as they are. Thank you very much. For